Good afternoon, everybody. My name is David Klebanov. I lead the technical marketing for Viptela. Uh, I guess I'm the last uh, panelist for today. Uh, so we have a very brief demonstration to, uh, for you right now on the stage. Of course, you can see way more and more detailed information at our stand uh, to your right. Uh, so what we're demonstrating here is a very large, massive scale network. Um, I'll let you ponder for a second on the numbers that you see on the screen, just to let you understand how you can build large, small, medium, large, enormous size network, lean, secure, um, simple. In here what you see is a single virtual fabric with over a thousand nodes, 7,000 IPsec connections, a continental mesh of a 5,000 IPsec tunnels in a full mesh topology. If you have seen this anywhere else, let me know. The two um, cases that I'm going to show you, and hopefully we have five minutes, is the first case I'm going to show you, again, a service insertion. Um, Viptela comes with a very comprehensive service insertion functionality. What we're going to do, we're going to provide a regional security perimeter around your data centers. Should, so should any of your um, compute resources become compromised, we can provide through service insertion a security perimeter around your data centers which will prevent the attacker from consuming your data center resources. So having said that, let me quickly jump into... This is a vManage tool, which is a single pane of glass for your entire network. What you see here is a representation of a 7,000 IPsec tunnels, 5,000 full mesh IPsec tunnels in a continental mesh. If I navigate to the dashboard, here you can see that a more precise numbers we have around almost 1300 devices in that topology. This is the operational tool where I can see all of my applications, virtual network performance, IP tunnel characteristics, device health, everything you need to know to operationalize your environment. Now, the service insertion functionality is delivered in the form of policies. We have a policy here that I've already applied ahead of time that gives you the um, regional security perimeter. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to your host this host has been compromised and it's, well, of course, it, it's simulated that it's compromised, but it's running a high-speed ICMP flood to the server in a data center. So what I'm going to do now, uh, we have already inserted through the policy the Palo Alto firewall. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to navigate to the Palo Alto. I'm going to enable a rule in here that is going to uh, block an ICMP traffic. And the moment that this ICMP traffic is blocked, I'm going to see the ICMP flood stop. As you can see, it stopped. So any layer 4, layer 7 service, firewall, IDS, IPS, data leak protection, anything can be inserted anywhere in your topology. All right, maybe another second. Another case, we have uh, everything you see in here, the entire topology with thousands of full mesh IPsec tunnels is completely virtualized meaning that you can spin up however many virtual instances of your network you want. Every one of those instances is going to be completely isolated from each other. You can enforce different policies per instance. What we have here is a monumental challenge of how do you create something like a guest network, a guest wireless network across thousands of your sites. All you need to do is you need to go to the vManage tool and you need to go to the policy and you need to apply a policy that, that of course, we have applied ahead of time. What it, what it does is that, again, if I go into the guest VM in here, the policy enables browsing and the policy disables YouTube video. We do application recognition. You don't have to know any TCP IP ports or things like that. So as you can see, any one of the websites uh, opens. If I go to the YouTube, it will not open. If I'm, one more minute, awesome. If I'm an operations person and I want to know what exactly did I block right now? I can go back to the vManage tool. vManage tool comes with a very comprehensive operational angle for your operational team to see how to operationalize this, this environment. So if I were to go into the monitor, select network, and choose a device oops, that that server is uh, connected to, I can go into the device details through a predictive search, I can, in, I can inquire what is it that I'm looking for to inquire on. And in this case, I'm looking for a policy uh, filters. And I have 
two filters in here. As you can see, these are the live counters from this. I can see the amount of traffic that got blocked, which is the YouTube traffic, and I see the amount of traffic that got enabled.